TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. Well, by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Just a little warning screen just in case. You know what I'm saying? Probably not, but just in case. Uh, we also got Patreon.com. That's where we watch stuff we cannot watch on YouTube, obviously. We post five days a week. I might watch a little Game of Thrones and post it. You know what I'm saying? Today, tomorrow, who, who knows? Uh, also, Twitch.com. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. Lock in. All of that stuff is in the description below, man. But this is HMP Prison Holloway. This is from nine years ago. This was when it was still active. It's closed down now, right? Before I looked this up, I had to. Ch Before I watched this, I had to check if I had watched it already, and and I seen that it's closed down now. <sighs> anyway, man, talk to me. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. HMP Holloway in London is one of the largest women's prisons in Europe. Oh, a women's prison. Just a mile down the road, HMP Pentonville, with over a thousand male prisoners. Over a whole year, for the first time on television, the BBC followed offenders inside jail, outside on release, I've drunk three quarters of a bottle of vodka already, and back inside again. Hey, mate. It looks like Craig is 27. He's already lost years to drugs and prison, but now he wants to change. At 2.30, I promised myself that I'm so not this going Halloween to be a junkie and come back to jail. Jade West is just 18, but she's caught in a cycle of petty offending, prison and self-harm. Jade! Oh my God. Crystal Duke is 23 and prefers prison to life outside. The best times I've had have been when I've been in prison. They helped me in prison. They don't help me out here. Half of prisoners in British jails reoffend within one year. If someone says, oh, I love prison, doesn't that tell you they're not quite right? How can anybody love prison? Each one has their own story. Well, let me tell you, ma'am. Someone could love prison if their life is really, really, really terrible. You know what I'm saying? If their life is terrible in the free world, one thing that prison does is gives it does give you structure. Gives you three meals and a hot, and a bed to sleep in every day. And you might need a job. Get friends all day. Probably clean. Yes. Every morning, the women of Holloway get half an hour's exercise in the yard. Gym class. Eighteen-year-old Jade West is back in jail for the sixth time on burglary charges. She was taken into care at an early age and has been in institutions all her life. When I come in last night, I was like, yeah, but I've even got my own cell back. <laughs> Jade is a binge drinker with a long history of petty offending. HMP is her Majesty's playground. This is her security. This is her extended family. Her Majesty's playground. That's where we're at with it, huh? But it'd be terrible that it got into such a pattern that she never comes out of the cycle and gets longer sentences for being a prolific offender. And that's the scary bit for her, I think. Tell her, yeah, tell her to get out of my face, bruv. Seriously, man. Jade's Achilles heel is her anger which has continued to cause problems both outside and inside prison. I've just had a guy that dickhead over there. Yeah. Much of me and you don't know him, puff. Go back, go suck your mum. Did you not just hear me? Get out of my face while I headbutt you, bruv, serious. You'll get it. Jade is on demon time in here. 
So she's a binge drinker and she got an anger problem. Okay. That don't mix. Okay. Today, Jade has been cautioned for failing to leave the exercise yard when told to do so. She is not happy. Why are you banging, Jade? I am. Why? You're not in the mood for what? Uh, what with that behaviour? What do you think I'm going to do? Just turn your light on, Jade. Right, I need a word. Because I'm sure you've already heard that I'm aware of your behaviour this morning. Oh, no, you make it out of I did say. No. no Stop swearing for a start. No. Listen to me. Miss Nash has put you on report. You're aware of that? Okay, she's put me down this egg then. I'm not putting you down this egg. Listen. But you're one step away from basic. Do you understand that? You're a Jade, you're do you want a to put you on report as well? Put me on report. What was the reason you put me on report then? For refusing to leave the yard. Oh, uh, did I come in? Yes. Did you have to restrain me? No! I think we're missing the point here. You're not in control anymore. You failed to come in when they told you to come in. Nevertheless, you know what I'm saying? You is wigging out in here. She's now going to be basic. That means she she has half hours association each day. Our visits will be restricted. Uh, she gets to spend less on canteen and she spends most of the day in her room. Jade's behavior continues to deteriorate. Staff must now monitor her regularly as she has a history of self-harm, including choking herself with ligatures. What ligatures? But not like from the ceiling or anything, but just like doing it too. The most that that can do is she passes out. Nevertheless, you know, necessary precautions should be taken. Craig, Craig has just arrived at Pentonville Prison. He's been here many times before. He smokes crack and heroin and shoplifts to fund his habit. I started coming to prison when I was 21. In that period of time, I've been to prison 13 times. 90% of them yeah. are drug-related crimes. I was homeless. Yeah, I was doing a lot of badness to fund my drug habit. It's your thing, isn't it? Back in the system again, man. I'm taking this Craig wants to make this time inside his last. Every time I come to jail, I can't believe the view's the same. It doesn't change. That noise. The banging door. The alarm bells. This is what makes it more and more know that this ain't for me, man. I ain't a break. I mean, what is, I, in what way is this supposed to change? I don't think it's ever going to change. It's not happening unless I stop smoking. Once he's settled back into prison, Craig has some respite from his drug habit. He receives a daily dose of the heroin substitute, methadone. Okay, let me know in the comments. Do y'all think methadone helps? I think it's just another thing to get addicted to. Thank you, man. It's vital that Craig stops using drugs, as over recent years, he's become prone to fits. And he died in this jail 2009, down to my medical problems, which was caused, some of it, because of my drug use. Yeah. Do you understand? Man can't be dying down. I woke up in a coma, yeah, still in custody. I've never, ever felt so serious about stopping this cycle. I'm 27 now, I'm 213. I promise myself I'm not going to be a junkie and coming back to jail. Four weeks. That's the real. That's the real hurdle. Yourself. <laughs> now that you want to do it, you're probably gonna do it. Weeks into his sentence, prison medics are called to Craig's cell. Push me on the door, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, 
what happened. You just want to stay there for a bit? This has happened to me in places that's been unpleasant, crack houses, buses, roads. I've been in squats by myself, this has happened. Waking up in hospital, I had enough of this, man. Not coming back to this, man. Not coming back to this, man. And I can start trying to live my life and be crazy. So he has a, a, a history of seizures? Big again. Back in Holloway, Jade's privileges have been removed. She has become more agitated and is making ligatures from torn curtains, hiding them on her person. Time out, time out, let's rewind. This Holloway knows she has a history of doing that with ligatures. Why would y'all even put that in her room? It don't, it's not adding up to me. No, seriously, fuck! You know I'm not gonna go. Well, you still think I'm not going to try this for a minute? Yeah. No, I think you probably will. Jade, let's put it in perspective. You're tearing the cutting off the window, tearing into strips of tyro. Well, take that then, take everything, take the bed. And you think this, I'm going to leave? That. Do you think that's likely? Oh, do I really look happy that I'm going to be on the boat? Do you think I'm going to yeah. be happy? Are you surprised? Whether it's Jade? now or tomorrow? Are you no. Su are you surprised? You know I'll be back, Jade. Well, again, you think I'm going to let you cut it off? No. Staff are not allowed to search Jade for ligatures and must make regular checks on her. Wait, why not? Why not? <laughs> when Jade comes in, she likes to push the boundaries. It's almost like we're the institution that cares about her and, and she needs to do what she does to get a response. Jade has now tied a ligature around her neck. It is an emergency. I feel like preventative maintenance searching and removing would have prevented this. I don't understand why they couldn't do it. Jake, calm down. Get off me, Dad. Get off me. No, we need to rest about me. Wait a minute. I'm locked. Why is. But, okay. Isn't there normally a cell that they can put them in to have them, like, watched? Like a, like a, with cameras in there so they can watch? 24, 48 hours, high surveillance unit so we can watch. Or room. She's child. With nothing in it. Y'all still have her shoes with laces in it and everything. Like, she's only 18 years old. She's been through far more than a lot of other 18 year olds have in their life. Granted, yes, she has. I'm nervous because, you know, before I got out, I was actually drinking loads. It's 23-year-old Crystal Dukes last night in Holloway after finishing a 12-week sentence for a drug-related crime. Crystal battles with drink and is bipolar. She has been coming here since the age of 17. The best times I've had have been when I've been in prison. In prison, I feel like I've got structure, routine, loads of decent friends. Like Told you. Everything that I mentioned, she said. Outside, I felt they were more associates. But like, as much as I love my family, I feel like I make them proud when I'm in prison, which seems a mad thing to say, because I'm clean when I'm in prison. I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm safe. When I'm outside, I feel like I let them down because of the life I live and the people that I, li I roll with and the things that I do. And I just want to make them proud by going out and doing what I'm doing here, out there. Crystal has started a relationship in prison with Tony. Although not condoned by the authorities. I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard though. You got to be able to change your environment, the people you're around when you get out. If not, 
same lifestyle gonna drag you right back. His here. relationships form an important part of life behind bars. I start getting anxiety when I'm due to get out. I start getting panic attacks and that because I know that I'm going back to the same old thing, which is why I keep coming back to jails. I'm safer in here. I've, I've got a bed. I don't have to worry about eating because outside I don't eat. But I looked really horrible on my ID card when I came in. You look well now, though, don't you? But yeah, like, I'm healthy again now. I am dreading <clears throat> getting out. I do cry about getting out a lot. Jade has continued to tie ligatures throughout the day, and they are getting tighter. Jade, you know we're going to have to take it off. Let go from me, please. All right, Miss, can you just move your hands, please, so we can, get, we can take it off? We sure Jade, come on. Do? Like I'm, I'm really baffled at the at how they handle this situation. This is strange to me. Not too far. Come on, come on. Let me sit and talk to you. No, Jade. I mean, man. You know I'm not gonna go away. After talking with Officer Kelly, Jade calms down and finally stops tying ligatures. They do put up with a hell of a lot of shit from me. Pop a load of shit. So like when I tied my ligatures, like Miss Kelly was like, why not just press your bell and ask to talk to me? But when I'm in that mood, I don't want to talk to no one, I'll drive just do it and then go to sleep. Because once I've done it, it knuckles me out. But what is the what that so it just gets you tired or you pass out and you feel sleepy, like I, the goal is not really to hurt herself. Yeah, like, it's really to... It seems like it's just for the attention she lacked as a child. Because, like, children, if you ever... If you if you got kids, right, and you tell them no, what do they keep doing? They keep doing the same thing that you told them no about because you they like the attention that it brings. It's the eve of Crystal's release and she is preparing for life on the outside. Yeah, it's gonna be a big day for me tomorrow. Usually I'd be all excited about gate release, like thinking, I'm gonna go and get a beer, I'm gonna go and take like drugs, I'm gonna do that. I don't feel like partying tonight, I feel like more nervous and anxious. I've been trying not to cry all day. The thing is, with me and Tony, like, we've, we've both been through, like, so, like, everything the same. And she knows how hard it is. And, like, the last few days, how much cravings have I had, and I... Yeah. I've been craving and I've been getting upset because... It's because I know what I'm going out to. That's what's bothering me. I know that I'm going back to the place that I hate the most. If I could be allowed to go out like once in a while to get my clothes and like get the, go to the shop, I don't think I would ever leave. Would you? Come in. Sound like you need to go to a halfway house. Upon your release, you need to go to a halfway house. Be all right. yeah. But I don't. I don't. A halfway house, you can get. You can do a lot in there. Too. It's not promising. You've got to keep your company. Oh, I'm going to... I know it's on the side. I know it's... Yo! Yo! See you, miss. Even though I don't know what is going to happen on the other side of that wall, I know that I'm walking out healthier and I'm walking out with a plan. But I 
I'm yeah. sick every time this happens. Do you know what? I've, I've turned around and I've looked at this before many times, but I'm hoping this is the last time I'm going to see this. Like, especially, well, the way I'm looking at it, I'm hoping that if I ever do see it again, it'll be just driving past rather than getting released. At Pentonville, Craig too could soon be getting out. He served six weeks on remand and is due in court for sentencing tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm very, very scared. Mainly because I know that I could be going out there, well, I will be going out there, NFA, no fix the bold, yeah? I've done stuff in the past, which obviously is understandable for my mum not to have me there. My dad's very busy and I don't want to put that burden on them of always having to watch me and having to keep an eye on me because I, I, when, you're, when you're on gear, you, you lose kind of any remorse for anyone. When you're clucking, you, you, you're, you, the 90% of people, they'll sell their own mum yeah, for heroin if, you, if, you, if you're hooked on B enough, yeah? You, you sell your own mum. So yeah, I stole from my parents. And they... He not lying. He not sugarcoating nothing. He knows. He know who he is when he on that work. They've heard this, they've heard it over and over again. I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna do this. Mom keeps saying to me this time, just give me the actions, yeah? Stop giving me the words and just do actions. Actions are louder than words, my mom keeps telling me. So yeah, I'm very, 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 very scared because I don't know what's gonna happen. Fearing homelessness and relapse, Craig turns to the prison drug service for support. You wanna sit in that one? Just swap the chairs, oh, I can sit in. Is that right? Yeah. So you're going to be going to court tomorrow, Beverly yeah. says? Yeah. Yeah? I'm scared because I don't have certain things in line. Do you understand me? Yeah. So I am very scared, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to sit here and, and play big man because I am scared because I don't know what's going to happen after tomorrow. And I think, you know, it's right to be scared because obviously you don't want anything to mess this up you know, and you're going out NFA. You will get, you know, cravings at some time, and then cravings are normally about 20 minutes. When you're kind of, you're craving, that seems like a really long time, but it will pass, and with time, it is gonna get easier. Not using the no matter what, that's the most important one, and that's gonna be the one that kind of trials you the most. Craig hopes his dad, who's a drug support worker, will pick him up from court. I don't have no jacket. My jacket is dirty, Dad. I need something clean. Yeah, yeah of course. My, my... His dad is a drug support... Wait, say it again? Dad, who's a drug support worker... A drug support worker... ...will pick him up from court. It sounds like he's taking him through the ringer right now on this phone about picking him up from court. In my opinion, he should know exactly what his son went through, is going through. But I'm also, at the same time, I know what he, his son has put him through. But still, you're a support worker. You know you know the deal, man. I don't have no jacket. My jacket is dirty, Dad. I need something clean. Yeah, yeah of course. My, my head's like yours. Yeah. I spoke to my dad there. He said to me, good luck and that for tomorrow. It's heartbreaking to see your child they not showing up. destroy himself. I felt very desperate at times, you know, wanting him to get better and not, you know, wanting to see some kind of change. Um, I followed him on this revolving, revolving door syndrome. He once said to me, and he was at his worst, that he only ever wanted to be like me, <laughs> which, you know, made me feel like shit, really, um, because I'm thinking, well, had I not, uh, done some of the things that I'd done, maybe he wouldn't have tried to follow me or be like me. You mean take drugs? To take drugs, you know, crime, you know, I've been to prison and stuff like that. And, you know, my absences uh, away from Craig and his, and his little sister and his mum probably at some point contributed to... No, 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 no. It, it most definitely contributed in a large way to his to his <laughs> path travel. Don't downplay it, Ian. Some of his emotional All distress. Of All of it.
At Holloway Prison, Jade's turbulent month behind bars is also coming to an end. We've got to go to. I've got to go to my nan's first. From where she lives. She will now be under the strict supervision of the police and probation service, a regime which she has failed to adhere to in the past. So you've got to report to your duty officer by 11am. I ain't going to get there for 11. I can ring her though, because I've got a number, because like, there's no chance I'll get there for 11. Well, make sure that you make contact with her, because yeah, if you yeah. just ignore it, then you're being breached straight away, yeah. yeah? And we'll be booking you back in tonight, and we don't want to do that. All right, so try hard to stay out this time. I'm going to run. Just go and stand over on that curb, please. Not gonna lie, I don't have no faith in Jade. 100% zero faith. It's not looking good, breath. The uh, procedure. Okay, see you again then. Hopefully yeah, not. <laughs> Take care. I'm shocked now. closest person in my family, my nan, like she's been there through everything. She's helped me out a lot, more or less all my life. I've had to fight with a lot with her, but if I didn't, there's nobody else that would uh, have her. So, you know, and be my granddaughter, you do what you've got to do because you love them and, you know, you want them to do the best. You try and put them on the straight and narrow, but ultimately it's down to them. I just hope she can stay out this time. It's always weird going to see her again when I come out. Because I never know what to say to her when I come back out. Because the first thing she always says, make sure you stay out this time. I'm like, I do try. <laughs> it's not as easy as said than done. When you've been going in and out for like four years, it's hard to stay out. But I suppose I've got to try for her. Let's see, yeah. Otherwise, keep going back, I'll end up going back to her bloody old woman. It sounds phenomenal, but emotions are, un your emotions are not even close to being in check. And that be the issue. Like half of them, isn't it? Which again, it ain't even your fault. Yeah. How was you doing inside? All right, self-armed a bit. Why? Just stress, isn't it? But been all right. What would I say, say to you? Yeah. Either try and ring me or just go to one of the prison officers and tell them how you feel. Yeah, but you yeah. know I don't do I know it. you don't like doing it, but you've got to try and learn to do it, Jade, haven't you? Mm. Yeah? Because you know how I feel about it. Yeah. Yeah? I do. Because then no one else is going to worry about you, are they? Hey. So it's just me having all this on my shoulders. <laughs> Dry my sorrows. It's not looking good, bruv. <laughs> Already. Look, what is she? Big pint of vodka. Big pint of vodka. <laughs> Dry my sorrows. Jade lives alone in a council flat with her dog, Buster. She is estranged from her mum, who has herself been in and out of prison all her life. Like my mum didn't really see me grow up. Like, apart from like the odd time when she was at prison in like a visiting centre and all that bollocks. When I have kids, I can guarantee you I will not be going to prison. Or if I do, they'll be coming up to visit me like every weekend, do you know what I mean? I'd never yeah, sound good, but that ain't gonna happen. That's how I know your mind not even in the right place. Well, but if I do, they'll be up. It shouldn't be an if. Plan A should be the only plan. I won't be in jail. <laughs> Never put my kids through that. I'm not gonna lie, Holloway, I do love prison. And I do miss it, but sometimes you gotta try and move on to get better in life. But it is gonna be hard. I wanna stay out this time. Stay out for this little bastard. You're my little puppy. You're my puppy. <laughs> Her council flat looked kind of decent. 
How she how she still get a council flat with a record? Doesn't that like disqualify you from? But this is a long time. I don't know what the rules are. Crystal has been out of Holloway and drug free for two weeks. She's back in her hometown of South End. Going to prison all started from hanging about down here, fighting, drinking, and just being little terrorways. I live on an estate that's known for all the wrong reasons, really. It's like a sweet shop. What you want, you can get there. If you've got a person like me with addiction problems, it's like it's throwing someone good, in the bro. pond who can't swim. They're going to sink. But you got to be here. Ain't no other option, it seems like. But it ain't looking good, bruv. Well, I'm hoping your willpower is strong. Why do I keep saying not looking good? Beth Castillo... Stuck in my head, man, from that, um, from that inside reality TV show. So, yeah, I am, I'm quite nervous about moving in here full time. Because, um, it wasn't somewhere that I enjoyed living. Living here every day, I pretty much used to get up. I used to look out this window, I'd spot whoever I wanted to buy from, and I'd call them and then I'd, they'd just buzz my buzzer and they'd come up. It was pretty much like a taxi service, really. I'm very anxious about coming back here. I am, but I'm hoping that with my girlfriend due to come out, we'll, we'll, we'll have nice memories of me and her. We'll build memories in this flat of us. So they'll sort of overtake the bad ones that I've had. But I am worried about relapse. You just got to hold on, man. Stay strong. Stay strong until she's out. And I believe she can be your rock at the end of the day because this is Pete going back to the neighborhood that started it all. Any little thing that triggered you could send you over. I'm worried about having a bad day, looking out the front, seeing everyone out there not, and me thinking, oh, it could be so easy, I could do that. Crystal will have to wait two months before girlfriend Tony is released from Holloway and can join her. At Pentonville, Craig is on his way out. He's going to court for sentencing. Later that day, He's freed. It's 5 p.m. just before a bank holiday weekend. His sudden release means he has no drug support or housing in place, but at least his dad has agreed to put him up. Yeah, well, now w, is the time. W, this time dad. is your chance to get it right. You know what I mean? You can't go down that same road again. Right? You've been there too many times. W, right? dad, you know at this moment. Now. I understand? You're just asking for trouble if you keep going back, Craig. Craig needs a methadone prescription today, or he'll soon be suffering withdrawal, which may cause him to go back to drugs. Now, we're going to have a problem getting this script because... I don't know if we're going to catch up with surgery in time. His doctor's surgery, who have been trying to treat Craig's addiction for years, make him an emergency appointment. Hey, Craig. Right now. Honest truth? Yeah. A little bit. Is there anything that we can do to help you? I'm just going to try to stay on my family and just try and do this different this time. You see me sit down here and cry to you, innit? I want to stay just one of the only people I could really talk to. Mm. Mm. Yeah? Do you understand? Yeah. So you see me at my all-time lows, and from maybe now you see me now. How do you, how do you, how do you, how you perceive me? Well, as always, when you come out of prison, you always look healthier than when you went in. Positive. For real. Because you're eating and whatever. My honest opinion... Wait, I'm not so sure how much you want to be clean. Mm. That's honest. I'm looking at your face, I'm looking at your expressions. Mm -hmm. That's the honest truth. I'm getting put on the spot right now, so... Well, what can... Well, I mean, you asked me a question, yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. I've never have. You're saying that you want to get clean. You haven't really said that before, in fairness. But I'm hearing the words, but I'm looking at your face. and the, the messages aren't quite equating. But 
As always, I always say to you, prove me wrong, I'd love it. So, so it's not adding up, buddy. The next stop is a visit to Craig's mom. Alright, we got Craig. We got, um, dang, I forgot the other girl name. What was that first one? Jane? I, I don't, I, I, I'm going to be real with you. The only person that I have an inch of hope for, like that I feel that she might, is the girl, the, the girl with the girlfriend. She's been out two weeks clean, waiting on her girl to come home, got a brand new flat. Now, granted, it is in the neighborhood where it all kicked off, you know what I'm saying? And it's everything is easily accessible to her, but if she could just hold on until her girl get out, and and her girl be her peace and not her war, then it could be one. It could be cool. You look well. You, yeah. you look well. You look like my child. As always. It's sad because he comes out and he's got a lot of hope. And then gradually he sort of loses his way again. He gives up because there's nothing for him to lean on. And at the same time, I worry because all moms, all parents, you want your children to be able to cope and to make their way in life because you know one day you're not going to be there. And what happens when you're not there? And that's really my concerns. I'm glad to see him. I'm glad to see him look like my son because he doesn't always look like this. And I'd just like to live long enough to see that your life does change. I'm sweetheart. Jade is back in jail again. Two weeks, Sarah. Jade, I know you love it here. This is home, but come on now. You have a home. What about your dog? You got a dog outside. How could you do this to your dog repeatedly? My fault. You've missed me, don't lie. It is yeah, your fault. Everyone needs to She was out for just a fortnight before breaching her license. Everyone said to me, don't come back. And I was trying not to, but... It's not easier said than done. Like, I've been to like most of my probation and I missed a couple. Like, I was meant to be there at 10 o'clock yesterday. I turned up at like five. <laughs> I can't be bothered with it. She's in the wrong space. She's not supposed to be here. She's supposed to be at a psychiatric place. She needs real help up here. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think she's just gonna keep reoffending until she get that. And I'm not saying nothing, but she's under the bed. This is obviously her comfort zone. Like, she gotta go seek. She needs to seek real help. They sending her to the wrong spot. Despite being happy to return to Holloway, it doesn't take long for things to go wrong. Jade has been told that this time she may face a long sentence. Fuck the jacket! fault but yours that you in here now the sentence looking crazy now you upset you thought you was gonna come for a quick little vacay quick little holiday now you mad and I know the first thing on your mind right now is your dog 
Wolver, appreciate the follow. I know the, I know I know what's on your mind is your dog. You got a nice little flat that you're not gonna be able to you know what I'm saying? Like you jag this. And she's clearly cannot deal with her emotions correctly. She needs to go she needs more. This lady trying though. It's not the way to deal with everything, is it? You need to stop this change. Your temper gets in the way of everything. Expressing herself, the only way she knows how to express herself is through anger. Appreciate it, Wilbur. Another week in Holloway, and Jade's behaviour is again causing concern. She has started tying ligatures. Hello, Jade from Delta A Code Blue on. Y'all know her history at this point. She's not a new customer. Why do y'all keep putting tieable stuff in her room? Now, I know she do got her own clothes and stuff, but at this point, you got to take her clothes off. Respectfully, take her clothes off and give her a uniform. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, what? what is, where the, where are the... What's the call? I can't even think of the word. But where are they at? Jade begins to think about the consequences of her actions. I see where she just let myself down, as well as Miss Kelly and the governor. And all the other officers like Miss Roseman and Gibbo. So I wouldn't wish it on anyone like for off. Okay, really her. Oh yeah, never mind. I was about to say that she got a little cold, but then I just remembered these are the consequences of her actions from earlier these prison staff and whatever rules that they abide by are dumb this is to find someone dead in this back on the outside crystal had been drug free for two months but has recently relapsed she has secured a place in re before we go any further, I, you the only one I have faith in, Crystal. Two months, but has recently relapsed. Two months? She has secured a place in rehab and has decided to give up her flat and return to the family home. Uh, I've been so down lately and so like emotional and upset. I thought, because I was doing everything right, that the drug situation would just go out the window, like that I wouldn't think about it anymore. And then I started getting like massive cravings. I really do need the rehab, do you know what I mean? And I really don't want to be a 40-year-old heroin and crack addict on the front line, so I want to sort this out now. We fall down, but we get up, and that's all you can do. Get up, try again with a better strategy. Seems like she got it, though. To whom it may concern, Due to 12 months of constant issues such as addiction, mental health problems, domestic violence and the fact my property is far from suitable for my complex needs, I am no way fit enough to carry on living at this address. I'm doing everything in my power to get me into treatment where they can help me recover. 
I know this makes me homeless, but I cannot cope with living in this accommodation. It is no means appropriate for me being in a vulnerable stage of my life. I learned to read and write in Holloway. I have achieved a lot in prison. I've done victim awareness. This one here is recognition wow. of attendance at Carrots Crack Awareness Program. I've done a certificate that I tested negative for benzos, amphetamine, cannabis, cocaine and morphine. I've been awarded there for adult numeracy entry level two and adult numeracy, numeracy entry level three. Everything I've ever achieved has been in prison or while on an order. It's usually once that that's finished that I struggle. These are the ones that Tony has sent out to me since I've been out. The loved one. The from me to you, thinking of you always, and I love you. I know it sounds a bit soppy, but I look at that every night and like I think, oh, I love you, you'll be out soon. I ain't never had nothing like that. I ain't never looked at nothing before I went to bed. It was like, oh, this makes me feel warm. You know what makes me feel warm? Blankets, covers, duvets, sheets, things of that nature. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After a fortnight back home, a salute. Crystal is planning to leave for rehab 250 miles away up north. I feel like it's all worthwhile, everything I've done. Everyone feels that I'm going to get there. Everyone's saying to me, I really think you're going to complete it. So I, I'm really like, I can't wait. Come on, let's go and get Lily's presents open. As long as I take everything that's on offer to me and I work at this seriously, things are only going to be good. Can I have a kiss? Mwah. Love you. I love them to bits. I ain't got my own, so like, I like to be the like, best auntie you can be, innit, for them. Especially now they're getting older, I don't want them to like embarrass them. Do you know what I mean? I don't want them to think, oh, that's my auntie, the one who's like, on, do you know what I mean? Them sort of things. I want them to be like, oh, yeah, that's my auntie. Like, ah. You're going to be a good boy. Yeah. For me. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like it? I really lost my nerve this morning. I woke up and thought, I don't know whether I'm going to go. I was like, like, that's how I felt this morning. Like, if I knew I was going to prison this morning, I would not be nervous in any way, because I know what to expect. No. I know she's got to do it, but blimey, no. I didn't think this would happen. Uh, that's her mom. she looks just like her mom. Yeah, it's sad. You'll be all right, Mum, but, come here. You know, we'll be all right. <laughs> she's been a good girl and all she has. She's really tried for this, honestly, she's really tried. But I just hope, you know, You're that right. uh, she gets what she wants in life from it. I'm sure she will, but I didn't think it did me like this because I'm a bit of an hard nut to crack, but I don't know. There's no words that can explain this one. It's like... Did it Somebody in the chat said I need a teddy bear. That's tough. Who was that said that? Mick. <laughs> well, it's like you're going in the army, you know what I mean? Or you're going somewhere, you've got to go. But you haven't got to go because it's her choice. There's people sitting there now in crack houses and smack houses like, who, who do want to go to rehab and I've got the chance to go. So if I don't go, I'm an idiot. Right, so you're going to let them go with me? Let the bloom go? Let it go. That's it. <laughs> Whoa, look at them. Why is it in two months' time, in two months time, Crystal hopes to return to South End completely drug free to start a new life with girlfriend Tony. I really hope Tony is on the same page when she gets up with the same energy. Because this could be catastrophic if Tony gets on some other funny stuff. For Craig, the pull of crack and heroin has proved too great. He stayed with his dad only a few days. Oh my God, Tony. But I didn't, no offense, I felt the vibes. Then left for the streets. We tracked him down, begging for money to buy drugs and sleeping in a squat just a mile away from his mother's home. This is the penthouse right now where we at. It's a bit messy right now still. But, uh, I don't know, it's that mad messy in it. 
one of messy pins and crap pipes and a mess everywhere. So it goes in, it's part of the lifestyle, I guess. While I'm at this, nothing never gets done. Just run around like headless chicken, making money, smoking, making money, smoking. I can't even go out there and save him. I could go out, pick him up, bring him home, fix him up, give him a bed to sleep for the night, but tomorrow I'll be back out there doing the same thing. My biggest fear is getting a phone call and having to go and identify him somewhere. Back in Holloway, staff have adopted a new approach to dealing with Jade. Every time she's locked behind her door, the ligatures are getting more and more frequent. The staff are getting more anxious about everything that's going on. So what we're going to try and do now is try and keep her occupied, trying to give her different things to do so that she basically wears herself out. Normally, I'm awake till like 12, 1 o'clock. But when I'm cleaning, it's wearing me out, so I'm going to sleep early and then I'm getting up in a bit of mood. So I ain't going to self harm and all that bullshit. Just too positive about everything. This is making me think she got ADHD. I wonder if she's ever tried to get a diagnosis. Because the, the way that they're moving right now, like you normally up till 1 a.m., 12 o'clock. But because you're busy, you're being busy, like, I'm getting ADHD vibes. Because I want to get out when it's off, man. Well, I can't get out when it's off, man. And Miss Kelly, like, said, I've got a lot of positive comments. All the staff are seeing that I'm making progress and not... And she's locked in right now. She's overly focused. I'm back to how I used to be, the little sheep. <laughs> Especially Miss Kelly, Miss Kelly. I don't know how she still likes to be like. The amount of times I've been that old for all the officers, really. Like, the amount of times I've mashed off at them, gone to Twitter or whatever. And they still come back and talk to me and all that. <laughs> Miss Kelly, it's done. Well done. Do you need a rest? No, what? <laughs> no cap, that's how my... <laughs> All right, this is, but this is what I'm comparing this to. Like, listen, when my daughter does something, she's like, Daddy, I'm done. And then I come look, and I'll be like, good job. It's the same. <laughs> like, positive reinforcement type of situation. Mr. Bit, don't even go there, bro. I'll try my best to pull that graffiti. What? Got ya. Oh, you're a diva. <laughs> you're dragging on all my clean floor. Oh, I'm sorry. A week on and having been in Holloway just 12 Still days, good. Jade gets bail and is released on licence again. OK, OK. Wait, bro, I'm coming home. I've got me bail. The conditions of your bail are as follows, yeah? After to observe a curfew each day between the hours of 20, 100 and 7 o'clock, yeah? Going home. See you, baby. To report to Grey's Inn. 20, 100 and 7, 8. So she has to be in the house between... Wait, what's 20? Eight? Is that eight? Okay, eight. Eight p.m. and seven a.m. Sheesh. Okay, I mean that's doable for freedom. Police station Monday to Friday. To report to Grey's Inn Police Station Monday to Friday between twelve noon and two o'clock. Every day. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. That's all right. Apology accepted. But it only means... Oh, you fucking made me cry, man. Listen, listen. Oh. It only means something if you intend not to do it again. Oh, oh. OK. Then I'll probably it. be back when I get sentenced. No, right. right, Jade. You give that. Yeah, I'm there. there. Do not turn this on until you're past the second yeah. gate. Yeah, I wish. Yeah. Be Bye. good. Bye, miss. Bye-bye. It ain't opening, but they don't let me go. I'm going to do it like... Month by month, really. See that, sir? Yeah. yeah, I feel like me, me personally, I never look too far ahead into the future. 
I like to live the days. Yes, I have a, a plan, but now the plan is locked in. But I gotta get every end of, I gotta get every step right on the way to the plan. And if I'm looking at the plan instead of the step, the next step to get to the plan, I'm gonna miss step, right? So me, I just try to take it every day at a time, man. Every day at a time. And just know if I do mess up this day, tomorrow's a new day. And I can get back. You know what I'm saying? Craig has somehow survived four months out on the streets. Yeah, I am What's been happening? Tell me what ain't been happening, boy. Tell me what ain't been happening. Fucking, still fucking, producing, still fucking, smoking. Where have you been staying? Fucking right here where we are right now. Show me. Hey, right here. Not even gonna try. I'm just gonna blur it all out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sleep right here. This is my sleep right here. Right here, this is where I sleep, right here, bro. I'm at a, a point where I actually don't care if I live or I die. Dang. Serious shit. I call the place suicide daily. I'm fucking stinking, and I'm in the shower for a hot minute. I want to change my clothes. Yeah, fucking. Don't know what to do. I need help. I want out the ends. Jane, yeah? Jane, Jane, man. Jane will drive her insane. Jane's a big part of the game. Jane will fucking bring me down the drain. Fuck with Jane and your life will never be the same. After just 10 days I'm not gonna lie, them was bars. I don't, where do you get that? I feel like that's from a song. But that was a, that was a tough watch. In 56. rehab, Crystal discharged herself to be with girlfriend Tony, now out of prison. Crystal was too embarrassed to return to her mum's. We found her with Tony on the streets of London in a desperate state. I went to rehab and I started deteriorating massively, losing loads of weight, uh, loads of emotional like mood swings, and I'm telling them that I'm really depressed and I'm upset and no one is listening to me. They're telling me just go in your room and lie down. Then I dis discharged myself and went straight to hers. Yeah. But obviously I've, obviously I've been in a right bad way and that drinking since and everything. So this is a new thing for me. This has done my head a bit like massively to tell you the truth. Just like I'm, I don't know, it's just dangerous out here. Like we're in the worst place we could be. If I weren't really into Tony... So wait, where was... Where is Tony staying? And I thought that she was like, well, I, I, I don't know, I'd go and get, go back to prison. She's got a structure, you're safe, you don't have to worry about where you're yeah. sleeping, you don't have to worry about where you're eating. Well, I, I, like, I love it in jail, I miss, I actually miss jail, do you know that? I actually really do miss jail, I really do though. This is like, I'm lo looking around, I'm, I'm sitting on the floor, like dirty floor. I'm better off in jail, this is why I go back to jail. It's like I'm walking over London Bridge thinking I'm just going to dive in the water. Seriously, it's like that's how it's got because I just don't think that it is going <laughs> to... Nothing, get nothing gets any better, does it? Two days after filming with Crystal, she called us to say she had taken an overdose. We notified the police who found her and she was rushed to St Thomas's Hospital. I got a call on Saturday morning at half ten. Deborah, are you seated? We over to. From the police. Jade, all we got left, man. Come on now, man. If if anybody is really dealing with addiction, go get some help, man. You got somebody wants somebody's rooting for you. If you don't think nobody is, I'm rooting for you. I I personally am rooting for you. Go lock in. I said, why, what's the problem? They said, your daughter took an overdose and she was semi-unconscious and we've had to rush her to St Thomas's Hospital. So I've got in touch with my mother-in-law, well, my dear friend, 
who said, don't worry, I'll come with you to the hospital. So she's been by my side. Crystal was on a life support machine in the intensive care unit. Damn. She stayed she that bad? So she was able to make the call. Where's Tony? People at the moment, but they can't take the tube out and take her out in intensive care because um, she's her breathing's not right. The system never pick up things. Now I've asked them. I've said, listen, what is the situation this time? He said, this is the worst one ever. She could have died. I, thank God someone found her. Are you? I hope you're okay. I want you to know that I am actually really missing you quite a lot, as you are the person I am most close to. Oh. Okay, Jay. Also, I okay. just want to say I'm very grateful for all your help and support that you have given me. Even when I wouldn't talk to you and push you away, you still came back, and I'm sorry for all the shit still I. Still getting turned though. I really miss our chats and when I felt shit or self-harmed, you did always cheer me up. I have been doing all right, I suppose, and I've still got my dog buster. Tell Mrs. Rosemond and Gibbo and Sue that I said hello and I'll write again soon. I miss you and love you loads. Lots of love, Jade West, AKA Trouble. That's right. Miss you, Blondie. <laughs> That's nice. They trying to, what they got, what they, okay. It's nice for her to let me know how she is because we do care and I do worry about Jade when she's not in prison. <laughs> Jade is drinking heavily and failing to keep to the regime imposed upon her by the courts. You can barely take the dog for a walk. I need a break from my age. I mean, everything's just too on top of me at the minute. Bada bing, bada boom. I've drunk three quarters of a bottle of. I ain't even gonna lie, Jade needs to go to jail and just serve her whole sentence. Just don't get me out on bail. Just let me serve my whole sentence so I can get out with no conditions. And and then I could, you know what I'm saying? The fuck already. Bada bing, bada boom. Jade is required to make daily visits to her probation officer, who knows her behavior well. I've spoken to you. Jade then went to the probation office, turned up. Oh. Loads of times about this drinking. Don't look at me like that. You can't blame me, right? I've cut down from a litre to just half a fucking litre. Which is better a than day? nothing. I could come here, like, not even be able to walk straight. I think I remember one occasion when you could barely stand up. When that's because I didn't team. drink for two weeks. That's why I'm going to an ACES But that's the so whole point. Out. The binge drinking is far worse than just having a couple yeah, every it's day. It's not binge drinking, though, is it? Right, I'm going to make a call. Go on, then make a call. Cut that half a fucking litre. Hello. It's Jane calling from Grace Probation. I've got one of my PPOs. Um, she's got alcohol issues. Whoa. <laughs> Sit up now, Jay, because I'm really no. getting cross because you cut. So I don't care. Your mum's not going to do that on fucking purpose. And I didn't. So why you fucking mind? I'm not saying you did it on purpose. Oh man, this is one of the nicest probation officers I've ever seen in my entire life. I had a probation officer that wouldn't even look at me before. I was like, dang. You act like I did something to you. What was wrong with I ain't do? <laughs> All I did was get into a fight and had to come see you. Well, yeah, I can't even be bothered with your shit, but I'm just going to go in a minute because I can't be asked with you. What are you coming really? to say to me? Fuck all. Yeah. 
It's not the first time she behaved like that. She just has this fear that normal rules don't affect me. And I think that's a lot to do with not having had uh, rules and boundaries from a young age. Um, and her behaviour is very much like, uh, like a, a child. I am concerned. She actually seems to be getting worse. Her behaviour seems to be getting worse. Oh, I've already been told this is my last warning. If I have one more breach, then I'm going to go back to prison like her. I've already been told that, but I don't give a shit. I never fucking do. It's my life. If I want... Yeah, Shorty's on the verge of getting real time. She about to get real time. Just for the amount of... They just want to be like, yeah, no bail. Just lock it in. I spend most of my life in prison. I will. And no one's going to stop me. What about your dog, though? After several days, Crystal came off the life support machine. She was sent to a secure unit where she finally got the treatment she needed for her bipolar condition and drug issues. A few weeks later... I forgot she was bipolar. And nobody was addressing that. Okay. So it don't matter what she did. As soon as that kicked in, it was going to be something else that needed to be addressed, which was going to trigger it. Later, we went to see her mum. So far, so good. She's doing better than she was. And she's taking the medication, but she's sectioned. It's a bit like a prison order, really, because when you're in prison, you, you've got to be there. When you're in hospital, you've got to be there if they put an order on you. So it's a kind of an order where if she comes out and they give her an appointment for the Friday, a, a check-up to see how she's getting on, she's got to go to that. If she doesn't, she goes back to hospital, which is really what Crystal needs. But how bad is it when you've got to lose your life nearly to get some help? While we were there, Crystal's mum received a phone call. Don't be stupid, Crystal. What's wrong with you? Don't be stupid. No, I'm coming back up to the hospital now, so stay where you are, for God's sake. Don't they love all the police out and everything. Don't be stupid. But they'll come out looking for you, Crystal. Are they giving her bipolar medicine or no? Oh, for God. Look, wait where you are, for God's sake, do. You'll lose everything. Don't be stupid, Crystal. She's gone. Don't run her. Come in here. Oh, my Lord. I'm just hoping and praying to God that she comes home. Because the way Crystal looks and the way she is at the moment, I'm just hoping to God she don't go out, meet someone, and go and take something. That's all I hope to God. Where is Tony? Or what's, his, what's her name? Because I cannot believe this. Here she is. Here she is. Oh, my God. Here we go. Thank God for that, though. Oh, you're silly, though. Fuck you're him. Silly. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Oh, this is sad. This is, though. This is probably going to be here. All my stuff is in the place. I'm supposed to be back at quarter two. I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to right. go to Hadley. In oh. a minute, we're going to have to get in a. a we get, we've got to get to a nearest cash machine, withdraw the money, everything out of the account because they'll trace the, the money to the account, yeah? Because probably I won't be filmed down for 80 slow because I'm going to be locked up. I'm going to hold the shop up so I can go back to prison, yeah? Because I can't handle being where I'm at. You can't do no such thing. You're not. Oh, I am. I oh, am no, you're me. not. You're not going back there, but there's no way you're going back to prison. Why do you feel you're better in prison? Because in prison, they help me. They help me in prison. They don't help me out here. All they want to do is lock you up, lock you up, yeah? At least in prison, you're locked up for a reason. I'm worried about my mother. That's what I'm worried about. My mum, who's got abscesses and a bad leg. I don't care what I do, but I don't want to see them lock you up, but you're, you're on an order now and I can't do nothing about it. What do you, you think I feel like? That, will you? you can't go against it now because they're in charge and you have got to work with them. You've got to go back to hospital. And they don't give a shit. 
For the next 10 minutes, her mum tried to persuade. I ain't gonna lie, she looked down bad, all of it. Weighed Crystal to go look. back to hospital. Good, bro. Stay in the hospital until they say different. At least in prison, you're locked up for a reason. Eventually, her mum won the argument. After six months on the streets. Good. I ain't even gonna lie, good. Sometimes prison can be a life preserver. And in his case, for sure. Good, good, good. Craig finally ended up back in Pentonville. He was charged with common assault after a scuffle in a supermarket. Back in the Ross Clark jailhouse again, boy. Boy, I pray this is the last time. I doubt it ever will be, but I pray it will be the last time. I remember the days I said, laugh and say, yeah, guess what? I've never been in Christmas jail for Christmas and never been in birthday. I always get out, always get out. Not this time, innit? How long you got? Craig did spend his 28th birthday inside. Happy birthday. But his mum was there with him. My first born. All right. And listen, I want Twixies, yeah? Twixies. And, and cake, yeah? Craig had another chance we to rebuild it. his life with the support of his family. <laughs> Give a family hug now, and a proper family hug, oh, yeah? You lot are something now. <laughs> Their family must really be in touch with their culture. A few weeks later, he was due for release once again. In South End, Crystal's mum is preparing for Christmas. She has received news from Crystal who has been in a secure unit for the last six months. To my mum, thank you so much for standing by me when I gave up on life. I'm so sorry for all the stress I've caused you. But mum, thank you most of all for your visits. I have done my programmes and I have tried my best. I will make you proud. I miss you loads. You're my mum. Love you always. Crystal. I do, I am going to miss her at the Christmas dinner table and as I wrap each present, I cry. That's normal. But, next year, the way she's going, next year she'll be out and I think she'll really turn her life right round. Man, I thought she was going to turn her life this time. I thought Crystal was going to make it. Because she's done so well. I've been up on a visit to see Crystal. And I can honestly say, I've never seen her look so well. Every conversation with her is positive. But I mustn't do any more crying, I've been told. No more crying, just think positive. She will be out after Christmas. So, you know, we've just got to get over this, this 2012, really. That's what we've got to do. <laughs> well, this is in 2012. Holloway is no ago. place for no girl. If someone says, oh, I love prison, doesn't that tell you they're not quite right? How can anybody love prison? Hey, mate! I just fucking got drunk. I didn't get home from my tag. And she just... She... She... And... and that's what I'm saying, bro. She just needs to do her entire stint. Don't let her out on probation, not on license. Just finish it here and be done. Smashed someone in the face and then got nicked just then for another breach of my tag for taking the dog out. <laughs> Everything was just doing my head in, man. It'd be like the littlest thing that pissed me off. Fuck the screws! Catch what we don't fucking say. Jade is back in Holloway for the third time in four months. What's crazy is she's 30 right now. 
she's 18 in this. It's 2012. Appreciate the follow, Donnie. She's 2012, she's 18, so she's 30 now. She's still super young. She's back. I wasn't surprised. You're decent. I'm naked, don't come in. Can't wait to see Miss Kelly tomorrow either, as I know when she is on that, if I have a problem, I can talk to her. It is like a kick in the stomach sometimes because Jade, we always get Jade to a point where we think she's going to be successful outside and she might achieve something. No cap. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I never thought Jade was going to be successful. Nah, no, no, I'm just being real. I'm just, I'm being real. It never felt like, oh, she's about to turn a leaf. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No offense, but that's, that's you're delusional. You're delusional. Thing. So it is disappointing when she comes back. And it's very sad for us to, to think that Jade thinks of this place as home now. Like, basically, I'll just take the easy way out. Instead of dealing with my problems and all that shit, I'd rather just come here and let go. All I'm thinking, that all I see is her, them putting band-aids on, and as soon as she got out, they rip them, she rip them off, Jade. More or less. Or oh, I just talked to an officer about um, it's easier. Greg was released from prison three weeks ago. This time he's been staying with his dad and trying to keep. Okay. Salute. In the next episode, Jade's story continues. Oh, there's more episodes? for me tell leave a like comment subscribe turn on your post notification bells i'm gone